We go all over the state of Texas to visit schools and sometimes we're at public events. We're trying to get kids excited about careers in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. They call those STEM careers. They have to go to college for those, but they can earn anywhere between $60,000 and $150,000 a year first year out of college. So we have a shortage of, of qualified people for those jobs. We're out there trying to get kids excited about doing that, make them understand that science is not for geeks, it's a lot of fun, and you can make a good living at it. Okay, stand right there, duck down just a little bit, way high. See yourself? Okay, go on up there by the guys. Camera right there, I want you to squeeze hard for about five seconds. When he moves his hand, watch what that leaves behind. All right, guys, move your hand away. See that thermal hand? Watch this. The truck behind us is about giving kids hands-on experience to learn um, a little bit of science in the real-world applications. Some of the activities that are inside the trailer um, involve energy transformations and uh, stuff we're learning in the class about um, infrared radiation, um, weather reports. Um, hands-on um, mechanical surgeries. It's really cool. I think that the students are having a good experience on here because it's integrating real-world um, applications to what we're learning in the classroom. It shows them what they can do after school, after they're done with college and higher education. Let's see if it holds true. Eighth graders usually think that, well, I'm old enough, I'm not going to show that I'm really excited about this because this is not really cool, it's for little guys. But by the time they get out of the trailblazer, they're all excited and talking a lot about it because it's a fun way to explore science. You're doing it instead of just hearing about lectures and things. I was really impressed with the mechanical energy and also the, gravi the gravitational equipment and how things can form with other substances. When I went inside it was pretty cool because I saw all these kinds of things like a tornado out of water and stuff and then I saw like the genetics and then like surgeries with that little thing and then like it was just and then like the camera over there when you first enter and he's like hi and I'm like hey. <laughs> yeah the thermal camera. Cold air makes a funnel. It will not be a tornado unless it touches ground. Otherwise, it's considered a funnel class. Oh, probably about 90% of the colleges and universities in Texas offer some kind of STEM degrees or STEM programs at their colleges. Some of them are as short as two years and you can go to work in the refineries right away or industri certain industrial plants. Don't think that just because you come from a disadvantaged background of any kind that you can't make it in this world. There are a lot of scholarships available if you do some searching around. And if you're willing to apply yourself early in school, like in middle school and on, you can do it. Uh, what were the reaction of your other friends that you guys were walking around? They were like, ooh, and I was like, yeah. <laughs> so yeah.